Hello everyone. Welcome to the Spotter series, Spot the Diagnosis. This is the first case in the Chess Spotter series. Let's look at the case. Given to you is a radiograph. You can pause for a moment and look at the radiograph clearly to find out the diagnosis. Still you have not managed to see that. If you feel that it is apparently normal, what can you do? You have to compare both lung fields for symmetry. So comparing the right and the left lung field, what do I feel? I feel that the right costophrenic angle is much more deeper as compared to the left. So is this finding relevant? Does it indicate towards any particular pathology? The answer is yes. So what is the sign on us? Deepening of the costophrenic angle is known as the deep sulcus sign. Now a question comes, where do you get deep sulcus sign? It is seen in cases of pneumothorax and more importantly, which view in supine radiographs of chest, you are going to get deep sulcus sign as the evidence of pneumothorax. So now let's see what are the views available to diagnose pneumothorax. You can have erect views as well as the supine view. So erect view is a classic one and which, which particular phase of respiration will you look for in erect view to diagnose pneumothorax? If apparently in inspiratory radiograph, that is a common radiograph that we normally take, right? Good inspiration of chest radiograph. If apparently it is normal and you have still strong suspicion of pneumothorax, what you have to do? You have to go for expiratory erect chest radiograph to detect subtle pneumothorax. So I'll give you the reason why. So when you're expiring, what happens? The lung volume reduces. So whenever the lung volume reduces, what will happen? The lung will appear apparently more denser. So, uh, but the pleural cavity, the air within the pleural cavity will still remain the same. So that brings out a sharp contrast. So the lung will decrease in volume. It becomes denser, but the air within the pleural cavity will remain the same. There, thus, there is a sharp contrast brought about and you can easily pick up pneumothorax in case of expiratory radiograph. Okay. Now, in supine radiograph, to look for pneumothorax, you have to specifically look for certain signs. Okay. Now, still someone may ask you to detect very subtle amount of pneumothorax, which is the best X-ray modality. You have to go for lateral decubitus view lateral decubitus view so how should the patient be positioned with the suspected side up because we know that pneumothorax air within the new uh, pleural cavity rises air is lighter so it rises so you have to have the concerned side in the upper aspect okay now let's quickly see how do pneumothorax appear in radiograph in erect chest pa radiograph what are you going to look for? It is clearly shown that there is a white line of the displaced visceral pleura. So this is the visceral pleural line which is apparently separated from the parietal pleura due to the air trap within the pleural cavity. So what are the ancillary features that you have to look for? Along with this white line of displaced visceral pleura, you should ensure two more things. What are they? One is that Distal to that, the lung is much more loosened. And secondly, more importantly, what you have to see that there are no lung markings distal to this displaced white pleural line. Very important. No lung or vascular markings distal to it. Only when these three things are present together, you can call it pneumothorax. Okay. Now coming to supine radiograph, as I said in supine radiograph, what is the problem? The patient is too sick to be pos positioned erect. So supine radiograph, you are going to expect air in the non-dependent position. So where is the non-dependent position? It is in the anterior upper aspect. Okay, so you have to look for signs. So this is the first feature that you can look for. So what is it? Apparently, you can see that both the lung fields, there are perihilar opacities are there. Yes, I agree. More importantly, what is the striking feature? You can see that there is a deepening of the right costophrenic angle, which is appearing much more loosened as compared to the contralateral side. This is our deep sulcus sign. So this is the deep sulcus sign that I showed you first in the radiograph. 
So what does it represent? It represents the air collected within the pleural cavity. Where specifically? Between the costophrenic angle, anterior and inferiorly. When the patient is lying supine, that is the non-dependent area. So deep sulcus sign is an important sign of pneumothorax on supine radiograph. Now let's see the second sign of supine radiograph. So look at the radiograph given to you. What do you see? Compare the right and the left side. What do you see here? You can see that the lower lung field on the left side is much more loosened. That is transradiance. So increased lucency or transradiance of a, of a hemithorax. Okay. Transradiancy of the hemithorax in suspected case of pneumothorax is an evidence of pneumothorax on supine radiograph. Now let's come to the third important sign. So this is very apparent here. What do you see? You can see that comparing the right and the left lung field. What do you see? There is increased lucency on the right side. Okay. More importantly, I can see the displaced visceral pleural line. And distal to this, there are no lung markings. No vascular markings. Now what else is apparent when you go deeper down? You can appreciate the deep sulcus sign. See, compare. The deep sulcus sign you can appreciate. And further, more importantly, what do you see? I'm seeing double diaphragmatic contour. Where on? This over here and one more lucency like this. Okay. I'm seeing double diaphragmatic contour. Why, why is it so? There is air within the pleural cavity that is collecting in the costophrenic angle, outlining the dome of the diaphragm as well as the anterior costophrenic visus. So that gives apparent double diaphragmatic contour. So, double diaphragm sign is an important sign of pneumothorax on supine radiograph. So, these are the signs that you have to look for. Now, coming to the fourth important sign that you can look for in supine radiograph is what? In addition to transradiancy, what else is apparent? You can see, as compared to the right side, the left side, the cardiomediastinal silhout is appearing more sharp. So, sharp contour of the cardiomediastinal sillaout or, or, or the diaphragmatic contour. Both are indirect signs of pneumothorax on supine radiograph. Very important.